How to add a countdown timer to MailChimp. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how we can actually get this done. Now it's actually going to be for an email in MailChimp and we can basically add a timer for a specific date. It's actually going to be very easy and simple to do with the help of MailTimers.com. So just go in and open up both tabs here, MailChimp and MailTimers. And then from here, we basically want to start with MailChimp first and click on create. And we want to basically create an email uh, regular here. And I'm just going to add a name for it. So let's just go in and name it count down and click on begin. In here, you can just feel free to add all the information needed when it, come, when it comes to, you know, who, who are you sending this email to? In the subject of the email, I'm just going to go ahead and add, add uh, countdown like so and just click on save. And also all of these, you know, normal adjustments you can add. You can feel free to add them in here. Uh, and then once you're done here, you can just go ahead and click on design email. In here, we can just go ahead and get started by selecting a proper uh, template that we want to work on. And then we can just go ahead and continue and showing you how to add your countdown timer. Now, in my case, I just selected this one uh, and before you, you can just go in and select whichever template that you want. And then we can just go and remove this and I'll just add the timer over here instead. <clears throat> so all we need to do is just go in and drag and drop the code a uh, block. So just go and drag it over to wherever you actually want it to be. And now it's actually going to ask you for your custom HTML. In this case, we will need to go to our mail timers here and create a timer. And then we can just go in and sign up with our account. So you can just go and sign up with Google if you want, and it's going to be for free. Now, once you actually create your account, you will find yourself in this homepage uh, where you'll find the option to create your first timer. If it's not, then you can just go in and create it from the top left. But I'm just going to click on create your first timer. And then from here, you can just go in and select whichever type of timer they actually want to add to your MailChimp. There are a few templates here up top. You can just go in and filter between them and select the, the one that you actually want. Now in here, we will find more options here. For example, the countdown timer type. Uh, we want it to be a fixed date, most likely. If not, you can just select the other one. And then you would want it to also select the date and time. So you can just go in and select the time and date on when it's actually going to end. Now, uh, let's just go ahead and do it like so. So it has one day. Um, and now we can also do more stuff here. So for example, the name of it, so we can just name it MailChimp, for example. Time zone, font size, font family, primary color, all of these things you can feel free to change to your liking. And also there are more um, advanced settings here if you would like to use them. Uh, but in here, once you're done with this, you can just go and click on save. And just want you just want to copy embed code and you guessed that we want to just go back to our MailChimp and paste it right over here. So just go ahead and delete all of this. Control A and then just control V to paste that in. Now you can see now we have our timer uh, in our MailChimp here uh, and we can just go ahead, you know, set it up completely to our liking. We can just go ahead and move it up and down. But if you actually wanted it to be centralized you would want to go back here uh edit timer and you would want to set up more settings here from the uh, advanced settings so as you can see here we have the uh, transparent background background images we have more stuff here for example offsets um and all of these things so we can just make it more full this way it's going to actually take up the entire space for example and just play around with it until you actually figure out how to make it as suitable as possible to your MailChimp. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.